Does anybody in the audience know why do you burst crackers for Diwali? What is the connection? Any idea? Is it just a merry-making activity? Is it, is it just a celebratory activity? Or is it just an activity for making money? Why do you burst crackers? What is the nexus? So here's the sequence. What comes before Diwali? You have the Shraddha period, the Mahale Paksh. Then you have Diwali. And then it comes the Kartika Masam, correct? Here's the understanding. And you will find parallels to this structure or to this tradition even in China. So what are you do doing during the Shraddha period or during the Mahale, uh, Mahale Paksh period? The understanding is that your ancestors have come and you're supposed to feed them. That is what effectively you do. They've come. Now they have to go back. They don't know the way. You light the sky for them to find their way back to heavens. There is scripture after scripture after scripture that says that this is to be done. It's called Akash Deepak. We had to cite all of the scripture before the Supreme Court because the Supreme Court in just eight lines without discussing any evidence had taken a position that bursting of firecrackers during Diwali is a mere celebratory activity. It's a merry-making activity. It is not a ritual. I'm sorry, it is a ritual. You can regulate it. You can limit it. When you burn sparklers, do you think there is a word for it in Sanskrit? Or do you think that sparklers did not exist when Sanskrit existed? So the word for it is Ulkadana. You will find references to it in a scripture called Kartika Mahatmyam. And in multiple documents, they have recorded this over and over and over again. Britishers have written. Indians have written. Our scriptures say so. But we don't know if somebody had approached the Supreme Court representing the rights of the Hindu community and other communities. There are any number of variants for uh, Diwali. The Sikhs actually celebrated as the Bandi Chhod Divas. That has a specific history. The Jains have a specific variant. Is it a coincidence that all these communities celebrate Diwali in one way or the other, other around the same period of time? Surely it's not coincidence. There must be something common to all of this. So considering all of this, what, what does it tell you? Your ignorance with respect to your own traditions is going to be used against you to humiliate you, to shame you, to call you a patriarch, to call you uh, a chauvinist, to call you whatnot, until a point comes where you would have decided to give up your identity altogether. Whatever is happening around you is not a struggle for resources, but it is a struggle for identity.